Hey there, this is Alvin Brown, podcaster and, and publisher of kickstartcommerce.com. And so I'm here at Namescon 2021. And so I'm partnering with Namescon to bring the My First Namescon experience as well as the My Namescon experience of video interviews. And so obviously you see that there is a gentleman opposite of me, and that is none other than Darpin Munjaw. Darpin, welcome. Thanks, Alvin. Thanks for uh, having me on. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So in, in most cases, Darpin and I would likely have crossed paths in person at a conference, but obviously due to COVID, uh, we are doing this virtual thing again once more. And so uh, Darpin, I guess, explain a little bit about, you know, a bit about who you are and then a, a bit about why you, you know, attend these types of events as well as your company, uh, Squad Help. Yeah, so I am uh, the founder of squadhelp.com. It's a naming platform. We help companies come up with names for their businesses. Um, and it is a, it, it's built on a crowdsourcing model, but we apply a lot of data and AI and, and all those things into helping companies discover great names. And in the last couple of years, we've been um, ramping up our um, marketplace, which is primarily focusing on brandable domains. And uh, we are seeing... Um, that uh, work fairly well with with uh, potential buyers who are you know typically early stage startups to established companies to serial entrepreneurs. So, you know, uh, we kind of offer both sides of the world. If you are looking for a name through competitions, you can launch a contest, or you can explore names that we have in our in our marketplace. So yeah, it's uh, you know it's good to be here. Um, Namescon, I. Uh, I started attending this last, um, it's been, I think this one is my third year, so I haven't been doing this for a while, but, you know, first time I attended, I was fascinated, first of all, to see all the people, you know, with different backgrounds and different interests, and some of them are part-time domain investors, some of them are full-time, and it was just amazing to see so much excitement and uh, energy in this industry. Because it's it's one thing to kind of interact with people over you know phone or, or or through chat and things like that, but when you meet people and you know you see the same passion everyone has, uh, it's just amazing. So I was you know really impressed with um, the content as well as you know the the community aspect of uh, of this uh, domaining uh, community, which is still pretty small, but I think uh, there is a lot of uh, smart people in this industry. And I uh, what's more impressive is many of those people are willing to share all of their personal experience with others without worrying too much about this being a competitive space. Uh, they're willing to share ideas and help others grow. So, you know, to me, it's been uh, a great experience. Uh, my personal you know, goal is to just connect with as many people as possible, learn from them. I try to attend as many sessions as I can, and also, you know, talk about what we are doing at Squad Help just to kind of uh, build more awareness of uh, who we are. Now, you mentioned Squad Help, and so now how, I guess, explain to us a bit about how Squad Help differentiates itself from others, you know, like Dan or, uh, you know, like, uh, let's just say, uh, Brand Bucket. Like, how, how, how is Squad Help uh, a bit different? Yeah, so, you know, we uh, focus, first of all, we are mainly focused on brandable domains. So, you know, Dan is more, you know, uh, broader focus than, than we are. Right. Um, our customers are, you know, those look looking for brandable domains in general. I think for us, the main focus has been is solving this problem of discovery, and that's where we are finding more and more success. You know, as you think about names, especially with brandable domains, the hardest, the most difficult problem I feel is uh, helping companies discover the names that they're interested in. Because you know, if you go to a search and you should type a name or a keyword you will likely find a lot of names that include that keyword, but that may not be the name that you want. Like if you're looking for a yoga brand, for example, you may type the word yoga and you will see a bunch of names with the word yoga come back, but you may be looking for a name like a Lululemon, and that's not something that you can discover that easily. You know, So we are trying to use a lot of AI and data, and we're trying to combine all of that with the human element. Uh, we have you know over 250,000 people in our crowdsource community and they're able to, you know, take those names and also pitch them directly to the uh, companies who are running these competitions. So we allow basically, you know, this whole level of discovery is what we're trying to focus. Uh, coupled by, you know, we do invest a lot in 
advertising and promoting these names uh, to prospective customers as well as remarketing as people visit your name, they can start seeing those ads. So all those things combined it's, is, is what we're kind of going in deeper and deeper into and we're seeing that that seems to be helping in uh, achieving, helping people achieve a high overall sell through on their, on their portfolio. Interesting. Now, you hit something there that just kind of sparked a question for me, and it's in regards to those that are looking for domains. So as they're going through kind of, you know, consolidating a list of domains or domains that they may like, uh, are they adding them to like a watch list? And then if pricing or anything changes, are they notified? Yeah, yeah, we do have a lot of that. So, you know, as people browse our site, we're capturing a lot of data on what names they were interested in. And right during their experience, we are personalizing the whole site for them. So let's say you started looking at some clothing brand names. Now, when you go back to our homepage, suddenly the whole site experience will look more clothing focused. Um, and as you go back to our marketplace, the names that you will see on the top of the marketplace will typically be about clothing because you know if you have 75,000 names there's only so many names can a person see right they will right. not probably go beyond fifth or tenth page so our goal is to get the right names in front of these people so we, we do a lot of personalization based on how you're browsing and how people like you have explored names in the past and then of course you know we have all these tools if the pricing changes or if the name goes on a discount we immediately send a notification to anyone who may have shortlisted the name in the past um, or if somebody submitted uh, saw a name in the contest uh, we even you know use ai to recommend this contest holder is liking names of this style so we notice that you have a name in, in your portfolio that might match that style so you might want to pitch that name to this customer so we kind of use a lot of technology to help people you know present the best names to the people uh, who are looking for these names to kind of build that connection nice nice now in in regards to names con like are you you know uh hosting any sessions moderating or presenting yeah we have a few sessions uh you know, our team has uh three sessions in the workshops uh, mostly geared towards people who are just getting started with domaining uh, or with the squad health platform uh, i'm also hosting a session um tonight which is uh about um what you know uh, about brandable domaining in general like uh, you know what are some of the things to look for in, in setting up building a brandable domain portfolio and then i also have a session on friday which is a lot of detailed insights around what works what doesn't work you know what kind of categories sells i mean we use a lot of data to measure what's working and what's not working so i'll be sharing a lot of those insights in, in that session on friday Awesome, awesome. Well, we're out of time, but Darvin, thank you for stopping in and thank you for shedding light on uh, Squad Help as well as your sessions to come. So I wish you the best. Well, thank you, Owen. It was uh, nice chatting with you. Yeah, definitely. And if you would like to chat with me, head on over to the Networking Lounge, click the Exhibitor tab, and look for the Kickstart Commerce table. If you see this beautiful face sitting at the table or in a chair, hey, click that button on the chair, pull up a chair, and let's connect.